the challenge, the pain, the gain, and the potential of doing business in southeastern Nigeria, the Biafran land. Ecosy, growing the economy of the southeast. Think for. Good day, viewers. You're welcome back again on this platform, BVI Channel 1. And on the program, ECOSI, Economy of the Southeast, as we continue in our drive and our campaign to encourage our people from the southeastern part of Nigeria to bring their wealth <coughs> home, the Akununo campaign. While doing that, there are lots of challenges as the yearn for good governance continues to uh, get stronger and the government obviously adapting to the development of urbanization and the expansion of some, um, let's say, mini commercial communities into a full-fledged urban area. While doing that, my people, a lot of people had fallen a kind of victim of this development. Where we say development clashes with investment. What could you do to either avoid this or not be a complete victim of these circumstances? And we're going to take a look at what is happening in the globe here. But before then, let us take this message from our sponsors of the program, the Committed Christian Friends New Heaven Estate. I'm going to bring the message, and when I come back, we will take on what we have today. Don't go away. I'll be right back. All over the world, real estate business has proved to be a reliable platform for investment based on consistency, profitability, and durability. It is without risk and gives financial security, freedom, and peace of mind. Committed Christian Friends New Heaven Estate Limited, as a real estate company, has been a consistent player in real estate business with many years of experience and positive impact. One of their choice estates, Airport City Estate Umweri, is still selling like a hot cake at a Comparatively moderate price with table land, well plotted and beaconed, easily accessible and very close to the Anambra International Cargo and Passenger Airport Umweri, with plans for all round provision of facilities like good road network, adequate security, street light, constant power supply, etc. Many people are already developing their plots without stress or any interference from the youth and the host community. Airport City Estate Tumweri is your opportunity to become a landlord without stress. Why would you spend millions of naira to buy a plot of land when with just 10 million naira you can get up to 3 or 4 plots at the Airport City Estate? For inquiries, please call 70 3810830 or 0701-787-0777. Our head office is at number 20 in Usionira by Savoy Junction, near Boromi Roundabout, Oka Road, Onicha. Newi office, Christomex Plaza, Okiigwe Oweri Road, Traffic Junction, Newi. Rush now while this special offer lasts. Airport City Estate Tumweri, a choice buy for your ultimate satisfaction. Committed Christian Friends, New Heaven Estate, your peace of mind is our commitment. You're welcome back. We are still on the program, AECOC, Economy of the South East. And before the end of this program today, you will understand why it is important for you to go through a verified, reliable real estate company like Committed Christian Friends New Heaven Estate. As far as they are concerned, they are the tested and trusted real estate investment company you must deal with. Just stick to this program to the end and you get valuable information that will save you a lot of trouble. Let us fast forward straight into what we are bringing to you today. The clash where investment hits development. What becomes of you as an investor in the Southeast? Let us take it as it happened at a club, yeah, at so many people, we are crying bitterly watching their property investment being brought down during the evolution. 
Watch. I'll be right back. You can see construction is happening here with double quick match. You can see that for yourself. The club here is wearing a new look. Every one of the structures here will give way. You see Zenith Bank there. That is Zenith Bank. It is giving way. They are already demolishing it. You can see that for yourself. And the one, hey, about an about child, you know, okay. The popular employee the park. All the buildings there is being brought down. Look at it. Everybody go open. The one car. Anna Kunka, no, I can't talk about Nawagi in Afia. Anna Wagi Kone, man. Rena Lolo, Rena Lolo, okay, Afoka and I in Afia. It's happening here. You can see the ongoing demolition. This is a club, and we are bringing it to you live and direct. Now, the park, there is demolition happening right in there. I would have come down. In fact, everywhere, everywhere, left, right, and center. Anna Kugogo. Anna everything. Everything Kuebo is being brought down. Look at it. Nanafia. Hey! Chinaka. Oh, now this place. This is the place that the. At this place you are seeing now is where they will be doing the modern bus terminal. Okay? You can see that. <laughs> hey! Oh, when I do my Alusin Duke, pull up here, there, and I whoop you, whoop. Hey, my Alusin Modern FIA, or now development, I beg you. Okay, I will jump. Now, this one, this is a two story building, it is going out. You can see that. I'm a map of one cow's an Hey, everywhere, everywhere, nothing is spared. What if I'm a spare at this place? Left and right. Yeah, the demolition is still on. You can still see this one there. You see people who are in the demolition work, losing everything, losing everything. You can see that all the way. You can all see the caterpillars who are walking. You can see everything. So we're bringing it to you live and direct. It's happening in Ekulo, at Ekulo as we speak. Hmm? That's the price to be paid for good governance. And it's all for good, I must tell you. Huh? The importance of this very flyover and um, the modern terminal, bus terminal, cannot be overemphasized, I must tell you. I see all this filling station. You see this story building, this three, this one, this one, this very one is going down. Okay, everything here is going. Down. Even this electric post, every one of them is going down. See them, everything. The challenge, the pain, the gain, and the potential of doing business in southeastern Nigeria, the Biafran land. Ecosy, growing the economy of the southeast. Home. What a pain to see your investment being brought down in such manner. But come to think about it, as we continue through this platform to advocate for good governance, construction of infrastructure that will enable business and development to thrive. But in so doing, at some instances, just like we've seen from a Colombia, that businesses we are affected, properties we are brought down. And now people may ask, how can we be bringing back our property back home and yet it is being demolished? The answer to this question on how to avoid being a victim of these circumstances is right here with me in this studio, in the person of our special guest and a reliable, experienced real estate stakeholder, the president of CCF New Heaven Estate. It's my pleasure to bring in Elder Sylvester Onyewe. Sir, it's a pleasure to have you once again. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming again. Now, yes. we are talking about Akulono. We are talking about development of the Southeast because that is the the, the main topic, that is the major focus for development of the Southeast. Our people should bring back their wealth home and the government to put in infrastructure. Now, seeing these kind of circumstances and people who are investing in properties, looking at those houses, 
being brought down, two-story building, one-story building, four-story building, being brought down to pave way for development. When this investment in property and good governance or um, development clashes, what would be your advice to the investors, especially our people looking forward to invest in the Southeast? Thank you very much. Um, my advice to investors in a situation like this is that most of the time, it is the same law that established the government. It's the same law established investment. There are laws of the government that permit and establish investment. If you follow the due process of that law, nobody will destroy your thing. And if there be by any means that what the government is doing override the public interest, you will be paid compensation where you follow due process. Number one, take for example for that a global issue. So many people's houses were affected. Man, I go and make investigation. How many people registered their land and have survey plan of that land? Number one. If they have survey plan of that land, how many people registered a uh, registered, uh, power of attorney or CFO? How many people did it? Our uh, people take things for granted. Now, after that, that is what government call in any urban. That is what is called Anambra State Urban Development Board. As to them. As to them. Urban Development Board. Which means this board is there. If you want to build any house, you must come to them. Bring the plan of the house you want to build to their office. They will follow you and come and see the place and the permit to give you authority to build. <clears throat> if they give you this paper authority to build and you go back and build when you have registered the land and go and build and government come back tomorrow to destroy it, you simply shoot the government. You'll be, like, you'll be rejoicing. Because nobody is above law. Government won't destroy what they have given you permission to go and build. That is how it works. But sometimes people cut the road and don't want to go process. And when it happens like this, you are now now become sorry. Okay. But, uh, in, in, a, in a sorry to cut you short, in a, in a situation where somebody has obtained uh, uh, permit, uh -huh. license uh -huh. to build, for instance, this road. Uh -huh. And government say you should give, or uh, uh, the law say you should give so 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 number of feet away from road and whatever. And you see people encroach or try to build or put up their fence along the the line. They are not giving that space. What when something like this happen? Will they get compensation? Now in this in the same place when you meet this as the as number of urban development board when you meet them that you want to boot up structure or face they will follow you you go to the office they will give you a form you will fill form they will follow you and go and certain the city place and give you authority to build when they have given you authority if government come tomorrow and say that this place now they want to take it and with it override people public interest they want to use it government will pay you compensation that is how you see that um, Niger Bridge Road. All the people that have land in that bush, they were all compensated, including that people that are doing produce there. Because government have interest to put road there. The government compensated them. You see that Obosi Mpo Road. I know one Yoruba man that built a house. That house is still there. But when they want to construct that road and expand it, they compensated him. That Yoruba man now take, you know, the, most of them don't do investment here, but that one did. That's at that early 78, 1980. When they want to put that road, they compensated him. So if you have gone, when you want to build, you go to government and get every clearance and every paper documented your pro property and build. If government come tomorrow, say they want to demolish, they will pay a compensation. That in this situation like this, so many lawyers shine through it. Okay. So many lawyers share because okay. when they know that government have given you this paper approved, dude, and, and they come back tomorrow to destroy okay. it, the lawyers want to see that kind of case. Bring it to them. Okay. But the problem is that majority of these people that build, they now have in mind that then they don't go and register. When something happens like this, everybody will put hand on the head. But even if you know you are now wise 
and you know your brother, your father is not as relevant as you are now. You now go and get all this, even if it is where your forefather lived. They don't know anything about government. You now know that government said when that uh, a club is made urban, immediately it is urban. You go to urban development authority and get clearance of the structure you want to build, and they approve it and give you paper. If anybody destroy it tomorrow, you sue them, and, uh, and you will be compensated. Actually, where where I am heading to in my question is, how when they some people are about here, how long beyond the boundaries Amapolofa to to build or any gap from the road because there are uh, rules on the number of distance of feet you must give from from the road that one is encroaching in government land it are encroached oh. they go beyond their own place if it is demolished nobody will compensate them okay no compensation on no that compensation one. on that if you encroach <laughs> on government land mm. uh, Nobody will compensate you on that. No, 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 my ears are not bigger than yours. You've heard it from him. What you must do to avoid this kind of situation. And ultimately, to avoid this kind of situation, I will advise you, if you're buying property, buy it within an established, registered, known real estate. That way, because they must have taken step to mitigate against some of these things. Unlike I see them, I buy them. Unlike somebody told you so this property is available. Because you have money, you jump in and pay. You don't know whether the person has information that something, something may happen in the future. You will lose this property. You, you go in and jump in without asking questions. That is why you need the advice of reliable estate company. And that is why you need to stick on this platform. Ask whatever question you want on the comment section. We will handle it here. He will be always here to look at some of the things we are presenting or some of your issues you are asking as a question that it will be addressed. Okay. Now, one most important real estate or investment you can do now is happening at Umwebi, which is the capital of development in the southeast, particularly in Anambra State. Talking about Umwebi Airport City Estate by CCF. To be honest with you, if you go there, it is something else. If you go there, it is over, behind the neighbor, because people are already understanding the importance or investing in properties. Streets are already forming. People who have bought properties there are already fencing and putting in structures. It's already in it's already placed in this in a very high brow area because in the area you have built-up areas, access road, third roads. To this very estate and it is close to the yep. Anambra State Air yes. International yes. Airport and so many other things surrounding communities have big markets refined crude oils and the rest of them so why are you wasting any further time to be part of this project now sir um talking about this estate umweri airport city estate what is there for our people who are watching yeah what is there is that the development is already on it's not that it's going to be it is on some people that bought their own are already building putting up structures and face on their own then the, every plot has access road every plot has access road if you want to start your own now you are free if you buy now i want to start tomorrow you are free. Immediately the document is given to you. You paid. The document is given to you. If you want to commence work, you commence work immediately. Then when you commence work, because time is wait for nobody. The sooner you work, the sooner you build now, there are people who stand by to take it. Because it's already development, uh, the development area. People that work at the airport, at the refinery, they need the places to stay. Even in the markets, the markets, people that are migrating that to those areas, they need a place to be. When you build your own now, people will immediately rent it. You begin now to, uh, to gain the investment you did on the land. Okay, that is wonderful. Now, um, to those of you who are watching, I must tell you that this is one lifetime opportunity for you to take this very, very opportunity seriously i'll be right back after this very short commercial break
All over the world, real estate business has proved to be a reliable platform for investment based on consistency, profitability, and durability. It is without risk and gives financial security, freedom, and peace of mind. Committed Christian Friends New Heaven Estate Limited as a real estate company has been a consistent player in real estate business with many years of experience and positive impact. One of their choice estates, Airport City Estate Umweri, is still selling like a hot cake at a comparatively moderate price with table land well plotted and beaconed easily accessible and very close to the Anambra International Cargo and Passenger Airport Umweri with plans for all-round provision of facilities like good road network adequate security street light constant power supply etc many people are already developing their plots without stress or any interference from the youth and the host community Airport City Estate Tumweri is your opportunity to become a landlord without stress. Why would you spend millions of naira to buy a plot of land when with just 10 million naira you can get up to 3 or 4 plots at the Airport City Estate? For inquiries, please call 70 381 80830 or 0701-787-0777. Our head office is at number 20 in Usionira by Savoy Junction near Boromi Roundabout, Oka Road, Onicha. Newi office, Crystal Max Plaza, Okiigwe Oweri Road, Traffic Junction, Newi. Rush now while this special offer lasts. Airport City Estate Tumweri, a choice buy for your ultimate satisfaction. Committed Christian Friends, New Heaven Estate, your peace of mind is our commitment. Welcome back again. We are still on the program, ECOC, Economy of the South East. And we are talking about um, the situation where um, development clash with investment. Just like the Anambra State government is putting up a structure, a flyover, and an international class modern bus terminal. That construction that the government have started at Ekulobia have really um, raised dust because some people who felt that they are bearing the brunt of this development. To not get yourself in a situation where um, you will lose your property without compensation, that is what our guests have been able to put to us. You should take note of this very information, take it seriously, and if you want more of updates on property investment feel free to call the numbers on the screen the ccf numbers and you'll be properly guided on property investment especially as it is happening at umwe airport city sir it's really a wonderful pleasure to have you always to help direct our people on this um, development um, the Umweri Airport City Estate. Um, what's the range, the, the development of the price range and the everything? Is it still the we, price range? Is um, we are selling the normal plot is two million five. We are not greedy people, uh, we just sell two million five normal plot. Then any corner piece or special plot, three million. Okay. You pay it, you have your documents and have your receipts, and you. You have your document and have your receipt, and you are ready. You start your work. Okay. You yeah. talk, just immediately after someone yes. buys yes. and pay, make payment. Yes. The person it, is free located to, to you immediately. Land uh, okay. Located to you immediately. The land will be allocated immediately. immediately, and the person can start construction. Yes. What about the disturbance coming from community in terms no, of development it's, and it's, all those the, kineko, kineko. those um, issues will talk it with the community. We are, that is why it is always good for you to go to real estate people that know what they are, they are doing. We discuss it with the authorities of the community. Okay. We bought the land from the Umona, but we talk, we discuss it with the authority of the Umeri, government of Umeri themselves. So we there are things, one or two things we do to them, which we have done. Okay. Yes. You have done so that people who are no, putting no, up no, their no, fences, people disturbing. are putting their structures. Nobody disturbs. Nobody them. comes in and say, disturbing. "You pay this levy, no, no, development no. this no, and no, that." No, 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 no. So it doesn't happen. It doesn't do. Okay. 
I really appreciate you coming on this program. I will hope to have you once more. Thank you very much. Thank you very program. much. God is helping us and you keep on helping us. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. And on that, uh, people, this is where we are drawing the curtain on today's episode. If you have any further inquiries to make, please hit on the numbers on the screen call and you'll be properly informed and directed. Don't miss this opportunity to register your presence in Igbo land, especially at Umwe Airport City Estate. And on this note, I say stay safe at all times and stay connected to this platform, DDI Channel 1. Until I come your way next time on ACOC. Stay blessed. The challenge, the pain, the gain, and the potential of doing business in southeastern Nigeria, the Biafran land. Ecosy, growing the economy of the southeast. Think home.